This is the one they just sent me and I have it charging the battery in Meg's car. And that's that low-end Chinese battery charger. And see it's in AGM mode and down to three point something amps. That is a GS Wayusa S46B24R AGM battery, 45 amp hour. It's from 12 of 20. It's also called a B24JS. That sounds for the Japanese terminal type. It's a thin pencil post. Okay, so if we go up here on the display of the unit, we can see that it's down to 3.7 amps. It's got a cooling fan. I don't know if you can, can you hear that. I'm checking on it periodically. It's relatively cold outside. It's 12 centigrade, dropped from 14. So there's the power input from the cable from the window. I have an electrical power cable going up here through the window. And they say to check on it, this is a cheaply made, I mean, look at the price there, $26. And I even took a 10% coupon off, so it ate the sales tax, but it did start at 10 amps. I mean, I don't know, time will tell. I bought this as, um, we'll call it the small battery charger, but I got the big Schumacher 1304 for the Audi battery. And then we're hooked up to the positive terminal, like that, and clamped onto the negative, like this. This battery was drained to five volts yesterday. I charged it up and then Meg drove it, but we need to give it a full saturation charge because anytime you drain a battery, car battery to full, you always want to fully charge it. This is the core of a 20 year old Schumacher charger that finally died today. So we tore it down to recycle the plastics and the aluminum, but kept these absolutely stunning, beautifully designed circuit boards. And I want to point out something. This is a heavy duty circuit board. Uh, not only are the trace paths, look at the nice thick trace paths on there. Look at these giant soldering points here. I mean, this is investment level. I don't care if it's made in China or not. There's a fuse that's replaceable. They put a lot number on the board. The manufacturing date is clearly visible in easy to read format from 11 6 of 03. There are ferrite chokes at the input here of the transformer. It's wrapped in copper EFD tape to reduce noise to the circuit. This is a well-made electrolytic capacitor right here. The wires coming out of the board not only have a ferrite choke at their base, they actually have a controlled ferrite choke going on both sides and then soldered down in the middle for harmonic noise reduction. Look at this enormous well-made mica capacitor, all solid state mica capacitor capacitors here. On the low voltage side, you've got the electrolytic, but these are the well-made stuff from the early 2000s. Ferrite, high, qu high quality ferrite relays. These are contactor style relays. This isn't some solid state switch. These are relays. Look at how fat these diodes are. These are the transistors that are used for the switching, right? This is, um, you're converting AC input here to DC for car battery charging. This is one of the highest quality circuit boards I have ever looked at other than the JL audio amplifier that my buddy Jason gave me. Here's the display board that um, would be in the unit. There's the part number 76 VOA 0405 94V 2005 415R. There's handwriting on there. Uh, there's handwriting on this circuit too, right here, this chip. I think my brother-in-law may have, he was into electronics repair, may have actually fixed this unit at some point. Might have been a refurb, he used to refurb electronics. So <clears throat> all in all, what I'm saying is that um, Schumacher makes some of the nicest car battery chargers that you can buy. 
and you, you just take take a look at this beautiful I'm gonna just rotate this look at this beautiful circuit board this is just stunning That circuit board right there is 605 grams. 38.6 for the display, 38.5. Now, I wasn't kidding. They even put a ferrite choke on the ground cable for the power cord to reduce harmonic noise from the line. There's an inline ferrite choke on the power cable held in by a zip tie to the... I bent this bracket to get it out of the bottom plastic holder. Grounded three plug really well made this is 20 something years old and the the polymer insulator is still pliable braided copper cable this is this is really well made look at these clamps too again really well bonded to the motherboard i had to pry those off right ferrite choke on the dc cables really chunky heavy duty clamps here right quality this is some high quality this is over 20 years old high quality that's that's proof that i rendered the old one if you're wondering okay but and then <clears throat> there is a ground wire here there's a ground wire on the cable and there was a look at they, they ground they ground out four different ways i mean this is this is so well made and so well thought through. They should win a Nobel Prize in Electrical Engineering for this design. And that earned my business ordering the 1304 model. But that's the one I just bought. I was so impressed by the other one after disassembling it that I thought, I'll go ahead and replace it. 